everybody. You see these holes here? Well, this is where the cross beams go through. And what we're doing right now is we're making, because we need the epoxy, we need to put a, see that's just bare wood there. That's bare wood. This is some bare wood and this is epoxy here. This is good. But this needs epoxy. And then the top looks like it's got a pretty good epoxy, but still we may have to touch some up right in here. Put some epoxy right here. That's got to be a barrier. And the same on this one here. You can see. On the inside there, there was some light coming in, and it was good. There we go. So anyway, yeah, there you can see you got epoxy that bottom and some of the top here, and this top here too, because it needs it too. So this has got to be higher than the two two by four, because we're gonna put about an eighth of an inch of epoxy. We're gonna really epoxy these up nice and thick, because that's all the wear sliding in and out of the the uh, cross beams because they they go all the way from this hole here see where this hole here here is this is where the end of this removable cross beam goes from here all the way over through here all the way across and bolts into here and here and also bolts into here and here goes all the way across where the two holes join all the way across and into the center of this one so it goes halfway here and then the one from here goes over there <clears throat> and then we have a uh, have one of these for each side here where we bolt and sandwich this with the uh, stainless on this side and that side so that's what I'm doing here I'm kind of opening these up making room for us to, to slather on a good amount of epoxy <clears throat> and then after it all dries, we got plenty of room to slide our uh, cross beam, removable cross beam. Not this. This is the permanent one. This is the permanent one here. But it's the same thing here. It goes all the way from that side. There's a hole, a notch in there. Slides in there and goes in that notch. Goes all the way across here, all the way across here to the center. In fact, you can see where this one is already in. And it stops right there and we got a bolt through here. All the way through and again these are sandwiched with the stainless steel so there's one strap of stainless steel that joins these two this split and one strap of stainless steel just across here like I said everything is sandwiched in 3 16 by 3 inch stainless and that's 304 grade so you can see how they go through so that's what we're doing we're, oh by the way we're using this guy here you gotta be careful with this it's got a lot of power and if it starts to get out of whack it'll it'll, it'll scare you <laughs> it could hurt you so be careful when you're using these there's some there's a direction this goes and there's direction it doesn't it likes to go and direction it doesn't like to go so be sure you're going in the direction it likes to go or it'll just it'll just start flying all over the place so we've got these two done here these two opened up and we're going to open these two here and we can't do these until we take the tarpaulin off and we have to pull these beams out because that hole has to go that way for us to slide this 2x4 out so it can come up and out. The same back here. It's, it, it's in there too. So we will be back with more grinding and we're going to slap some epoxy in there. Alright everybody. You can see I've got these ones done. This is kind of my blue line. I was going to come up here and kind of dremel some of this out but I already got quite a bit of epoxy up here. I just need to kind of fill in that little place where I did do a little epoxy or a little dremel work right there but the bottom has to be level with the bottom of this so the bottom of this this line here and this line here needs to be the same so I'm going to build this up a little bit on this side and of course fill this in I've got a lot of room at least an eighth of an inch or three sixteenths of epoxy I can put on there and then I'll fill in whatever little bumps and humps little holes and dips there might be in that top and over here this is kind of how I gauge it. I just stick that. This is my mock-up wood here. And then I see how much room I have up and down. Like that. I got a little bit of wiggle room. As long as I got epoxy there, which I don't have here. You see, I don't have epoxy there. So I got to dremel this out here. And really fit my solid this up. I got to cut this whole line up, make it nice and clean. And take a look at the epoxy on top. I think I got epoxy on top there. 
uh, no, I still need to hit it here with some e epoxy. So, yeah, so we'll we'll just recoat everything with epoxy on the sides here. We're going to try to be about a eighth an inch or three sixteenths thick with epoxy. The bottom, pretty much the same thing, eighth inch or three sixteenths thick, and the top. Uh, as long as it seals, we should be good. But we may go for you know eighth inch there layer and this the epoxy we have to use is uh not sag however not sag will sag so you can't just slap it on the side and it doesn't all start running start sliding down to like a big bulge here so you got to keep your eye on it and always be kind of pushing it back up as you go with a wet finger you have to have your hand really wet and then you can push it up and massage it back until it stays where it's supposed to stay so that's going to be my wife's job she's going to be doing that and we i need to grind this one out and then we got to do those four but we can't do those four i don't know if i said this before until we get the tarpaulin off because you can't this is connected to the boat so you can't go that way with that hole to take this board out this cross beam out without taking the tarpaulin off or just take unsnap that side drop it down and then everything will slide out just fine well we got to take this this uh this kind of uh trellis is that a trellis there that this little a-frame uh, uh rafter type thing we got to take we have to unhook it from there too which at that point it's just going to fall down so we got to take it out might as well take the whole tarpaulin off so anyway we will be back with more grinding and epoxying paradise out hey everybody we are putting epoxy in the holes you see this is this is the rough version here before my wife gets her wet bamboo stick and her fingers and smooths it all out you can see that's it i just slathered it on there kind of thick and she'll smooth it all out we'll go down there and see what how she's doing her work yeah, honey, have you done both of the back ones? Yeah, honey, this corner has to be sharp here. This corner can't be round. Trying to make a corner here. See, like that. But you got to have that wet bamboo in order to make or it sticks to it and if it sticks to it then you got a mess on your hands yeah and this one here has to be flat and flat over there you can see i'm kind of smoothing it up trying to make it flat like that and the top one too has to be a square angle so i'm going to push it in there and i'll push it up here and try to make it square and hopefully i did good hopefully that works now this like i said this epoxy will sag do you see that bulge there that's coming out there and that's not going to hurt nothing okay that's just going to be actually a stronger point and we're running it over the edge too out to here just so we get a good seal because this is the paint and where i cut if you just run it to the edge there might be a little openings there and then the water gets in there slowly over time and you got a problem so I'll do the same number on this one and we'll be back with more of my paradise with square corners paradise out she's doing good she just got to get those corners she's using her fingers and i'm using the sharp edge of the bamboo so that's how we do it boys and girls paradise out out you gonna see that there you go out out I'm pushing the button. Oh. Ready. We're uh, back to the topless boat. And of course we're still well, we pretty much got all the epoxy in here. But we gotta babysit this for the next hour or so. As you can see, I don't know if you can see this kind of how it bulges out, it starts running and trying to sag down. And we get a piece of wet bamboo right here. See this bamboo little thin strip, it's all flat and stuff, but it's dripping wet. And then you go in there and you can just kind of push that back gently and it won't stick to this 
bamboo if, if it's wet and smooth it all out and kind of push it back so that it'll uh, dry in the position it's supposed to dry. See this one here, he's not really sagging from my viewpoint because I just actually worked him. And this one here is not really sagging to any point, although he looks a little, this needs to be flattened out. But, and this side needs to be kind of smooth. And this one over here, he is the last one we did, so he's going to be the most wet. And you can see he's starting to get a little sag there, so we'll come back. I'll get the uh, bamboo, wet bamboo, and do that one, that one, and that one right now. And we'll babysit these for about, about another hour. Well, maybe not an hour. It's 5 o'clock now. But we'll babysit these until sundown. Maybe, well, it's about an hour. And by then, the epoxy should be uh, hard, in, hard enough because all these, these other four holes on that right side of the boat uh, we came back the next day and they they were perfect but we babysat them too for about an hour or hour and a half uh, after getting them all in there so we're gonna get busy with the bamboo and we'll be back with more pictures of topless boats Paradise hey everybody! Out. All right, I'm going to show you something. That, you know, I've been trying to explain this for a long time, but maybe everybody gets it, or maybe some people don't, or maybe nobody does. But this is basically the connection system here. We have these holes right here through both sides of there, and one side of the outer hole, one side of here, and then there's a notch over there. You can see right there. That's where the cross beam. This is the removable cross beam here. See this piece here? Do you see this piece here? See how it slides through? Well, this is for this half. It's not for that half, even though it's over there. We're just sliding it through because we got enough space there just to slide it all the way through and over there. So this one goes over here. Over here, you can see it going in, in, in there, and it goes in that and locks. Then these holes are now lined up. You can, you can look right through them. See right there, there. So you can see right through the holes. The bolt holes are now lined up. And now we can bolt it. Okay, but there's another uh, two by four here that we put on this side. And it's short. It just goes between here and here. And what we're doing is we're beefing up this, this weak spot because there's nothing here that has you know strength. This is connected to that hole. That's connected to that hole permanently. This is the permanent board, this is the permanent board, this is the removable board. And it goes from the center. And it's just gonna get upside down for you guys. It goes from the center here. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? Well, I can't see it, so it's hard, hard to explain. But anyway, halfway between this side of the boat and this side of the boat, that board stops. And this board from this uh, cross beam going over into there exactly the same way uh, starts here so these outer holes one meet in the center of here and they meet in the center there these ones meet in between the holes here and there and then we have stainless steel plates these guys that sandwich the back of this and where these two removable ones meet in here. So this is sandwiched here, between here and, and here. We have big, long stainless steel, the same length as these removable ones, roughly six feet long, that go on this side through here and all the way to the end there and all the way to the center here. And then the, these uh, here sandwich those. And then we have stainless steel that goes all the way from here on the other two by four that goes on this side and sandwiches this permanent one. So the permanent one, permanent cross beams are sandwiched with mahogany two by fours and also stainless steel, three sixteenths by three, eight, three inch wide stainless steel strap, flat iron or flat stainless steel, flat bar. There we go. Like this. This is the stuff here. So it's, it's stainless steel. And so you have everything is sandwiched with stainless steel and everything is sandwiched with two by four mahogany. 
So that's basically our system. And then that one over there slides in here and goes all the way there when this hole is obviously bumped up against these permanent ones like this. These are permanently attached in here. These are all epoxied and nailed and sealed to the back of this. This is one giant two by four section here. This is all two by fours. Uh, from all the way from here, it's solid two by fours all the way to here. Solid two by fours. This is all two by four, two by four, two by four, everything in this rear section connecting to these cross beams and up to here is two by four. And the same with the front. So this big piece here is one solid block. That center section there is one solid block of two by fours. This section here is one solid block of two by fours all the way from here to here over to here. You can see them here with the stainless steel things all the way around. So we're hoping that's strong enough. This has never been in the ocean. Actually, this hole was in by itself, and that hole was in when it wasn't a trimaran, when it was just a, a bamboo out rigger hole. So anyway, we have had to open these up some more because they were too small. So I dremeled, you can see the wood there. I dremeled that out, and now everything fits. But we got to epoxy it now, so we got to fill this in with e epoxy. Yeah, see right here. What we did, what I did was I dremeled it down and see this line here? This is where the epoxy goes to. This is the height. Before we got it too high and it's just barely too high, but nonetheless, uh, we just dug it back out. We got a real thick epoxy thing here and there'll be plenty of wiggle room for everything. So we're gonna epoxy it now and we'll be back with more from my paradise on the tiny nine. And we got this one to epoxy. The one over here on that side to epoxy. And that one, those three of them didn't uh, were too tight, and all the rest of them were perfect. So we will be back with more. That's a perfect one right there. Yeah. Well, my paradise on the tiny nine. There's another perfect one right over there. How about that? Oh, there's another perfect one right there. <laughs> so anyway, paradise out. <laughs>